Okay, we dropped a ball joint on lower ball joint on this car, and uh, when that happens, part of the ball joint stays in the um, backing plate, and part of it stays in the control arm. Here's the control arm. Here's where the um, ball joint was, and I'd take the control arm off to get it, uh, exert enough force to pound it out. Again, couldn't do it on the car. This control arm is kind of hard to get off on the uh, right side of a Honda. We're going to uh, put this pivot bolt, pivot bolt back in. It takes two of us. I jack the engine up. Okay, I um, remove the um, motor mount bolt from the right side and the in the middle to get some more clearance. And I jack the engine up as far as I could get it and I still couldn't slide the pivot bolt out it hits the um, it hits the transmission so but I found if I took two big bolts out of the uh, subframe assembly and pried down on it and then raised the engine up as far as I could I could get clearance so we're going to put it back together Okay, here you can see the problem. I'm trying to put this pivot bolt back in here, and it, there's no clearance here. It hits, it hits the um, transmission here. So I jacked the engine up as high as I could, and now I have to pry down on this thing here. I took a big bolt out of there and one there, and went pry down. Sun's going to pry down. At the same time, I try and put this bolt back in. It's really a bad design. And, uh, when you take your brake calipers off, you gotta wire them so it doesn't put strain on the uh, brake hose. And also, same thing on the CV joint. Okay, I got that bolt in easier than I thought. What we need to do next is uh, put everything back together. Not that hard. So you've got a. Uh, where's the steering? Oh. Okay. This is the uh, steering link. Okay. And uh, so we're going to put this uh, stabilizer bar bolt back in, and then the shock absorber bolt go goes through here. And. Um, I can see I've got these held up and then the backing plate will fit on here and it has the ball joint which will go in here and uh, will connect to the uh, uh, steering steering arm. Okay, turn it off. Okay, when you put it to <coughs> back together, <coughs> put in, uh, save the uh, shock absorbers for the last. Put in um, these two bolts over here. Can you see them? First one here and put in this uh, stabilizer link first and then put the shock absorber the shock absorber in last. So put one, two and then put this in. Otherwise if you put this in first you can't get the others in. If you put this in first, you can't get the others in. So there's a big pivot bolt that goes through here. I'm going to put that in next. Okay, I got this Got this in. What I did was um, put this through and then bend it around and put the bolt in from the other side and actually use the calipers to beat it beat it through so and I left these others loose too so everything's together and I can tighten it all up now rotor back on all you got to do get on this thing. all you got to do is this is really heavy you got to guide that into the hole the CV joint it's flying too if you got to match it you got to be you got to bend over uh. Okay. Get it in there while I'm here.
I got kicked down on the ground. Might have been in the hole. Get it in. Push. Ah. Let me see if I can turn it in. Here we go. Turn it in. It's not in the hole. Now yeah, where's the ball gun? The ball gun's got to go in that thing there. Ah. Dive into that hole. Okay, so the last thing to do is to put the um, axle nut on and use a um, <clears throat> breaker bar and a big socket and a, and a pipe. And um, getting it off, of course, you'll need it the same way. If you have a hard time getting it off, heat it to a dull red with a, uh, the axle nut, uh, to a dull red with a uh, heating, uh, heating torch or uh, welding torch, I should say, and get that on, back on tight, though. Well, anyway, this car was road tested, and it works just fine. The uh, ball joints and everything are great, and it doesn't rattle, and it uh, goes straight down the road. Okay, good luck.